Hey, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host, Ryan, and uh, this is the last battle for the week. Uh, if you remember correctly, I said... Um, this is the last episode of Battles for the week. Uh, if you remember correctly, I said that on Tuesday we will be seeing a new series, and that's going to be pretty sweet, so look forward to that. Either way, we've got Lele, Arcanine, Porygon Z, um, Crocodile, Whimsicott, and Metacross. So I'm going to start Mimikyu... Um, let's start Magnazone, actually. I'm gonna bring Araquanid. I'm gonna bring Hariyama. I see Hariyama being very useful here. Um, it hits everything but the Arcanine super effectively. And, um, on top of that, I don't see Drampa doing us anything. It's got Flamethrower, so yeah, it can hit the Metagross, but Energy Ball is not going to really do much for us. It, I guess it can hit Crocodile, but Draco Meteor isn't going to really do much for us that Arachnid can't. So, yeah. I think I brought Arachnid. I hope I brought Arachnid. Arachnid's good. <laughs> so let's see what my opponent wants to bring. j Ronk. <laughs> it's kind of funny. j Ronk. I love it. So we've got Magazone and Mimikyu. Whimsicott and Metagross. That's actually a really good lead for me, uh, believe it or not. Um, so I'm going to go for Trick Room. And I'm going to go for Flash Cannon onto Whimsicott. I actually really like that lead. He can't taunt my Mimikyu. I don't know I don't know why, why Whimsicott. I'm trying to think what Whimsicott's going to even do here for him. Other than Taunt or Encore. I don't... If he goes for Taunt... Yeah, he does go for Taunt. I'm probably gonna switch out my Mimikyu next turn. There's no reason to keep it in. Why Bullet Punch, though? That's what I want to understand. I'm not sure I understand the Bullet Punch. So we get the Flash Cannon off, and we're gonna get the Trick Room off, too. Focus Sash? Always Focus Sash. Yeah, I'm just gonna swap into Araquanid here, because he's just gonna taunt me. There's no way he's not going to. So, switch into Araquanid. And Flash Cannon the Whimsicott. Even if he switches out here, I mean, this is still a good turn for me. I can always Volt Switch or Flash Cannon again. You know, not a big deal. Um, so obviously once God's faster than me, we probably- I still expect him to go for the taunt. He doesn't go for the taunt. Okay. Well, he goes down. Metagross can't switch out either, so this is still a pretty good turn for me. Um, it's probably gonna go for the Meteor Mash. Yes. So the Araquanid switching is good. It still does a lot of damage. He has Life Orb. He gets the Attack Raise. Damn! Okay. So who does he bring in here? Who does he bring in? Yeah, I didn't get- I didn't- I didn't understand the Whimsicott. If he didn't go for Taunt, I don't know why he didn't just go for... ...a Switch. I, I don't understand. I still have my Mimikyu alive, so that's perfect. Uh, I don't have Disguise, though, so that's not the best thing in the world. Um... Hmm. I don't know why I don't just go for... ...Z Liquidation. onto the Metagross, and a Volt Switch onto the Metagross. Even if he goes for Earthquake here and protects the Metagross, this is still a decent play for me. Although, not really, <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, whatever, I didn't really put any thought into that turn at all. He's probably going to protect the Metagross. Wait, what? Okay, so that was a perfect turn? Um, because if this doesn't kill him, then I get a free switch out. Which will kill him. So that was a really sweet turn on for me. I'm very happy about that, actually. <laughs> very happy. Um, and this probably will still- No, actually it's a Metagross. It probably won't kill him. Yes! Oh my god, Volt Switch kill, Volt Switch kill, Volt Switch kill. Oh, praise! <laughs> I love it! I love it. 
Oh man, do I love that. Beautiful. Um, so do I bring in Mimikyu or I bring in Hariyama for sure. I definitely bring in Hariyama here. He probably has Lele in the back. Now you might be like saying, why would you bring in Le why would you bring in Hariyama if Lele? Because Burn Orb gives me the one shot. Now if it's not Lele, then it's not the worst thing in the world, because I still have Burn Orb. It's gonna be Arcanine. Ooh. Well, I still have Burn Orb. <laughs> um, so I am gonna be a negative two with my Araquanid, but Araquanid's really important. So I am gonna swap out into Magnezone. Actually. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Magazine. I can get Trick Room back up with Mimikyu. I, I believe in it. Um, and I'm just going to go for the close combat onto the Arc uh, onto the Crocodile. It just protected last turn, so it's most likely not going to get a double protect. It just straight up forfeits. Wow. Kind of surprised. He had a chance, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for like a, a Rock Slide and a Flare Blitz onto the, onto the Hariyama. But, oh man, that's unfortunate. I really wanted to see that turn that game play out. Um, I, you know, never forfeit unless, like, there's literally no way. Like, if, if just, just never forfeit unless there's no way to win. You never know what your opponent might do, you know? You literally never know. I, I could have just gone for, I could have gone for um, a liquidation on my own Hariyama, like, accidentally. You, you just never know. And it's not worth forfeiting if something can possibly happen. Yeah, it was 4-2, to two. and yeah, the odds weren't in his favor, because if I played played that the way I was playing it, he was going to lose, but still, you never know. So we've got a Raquinid, Token Tomorrow, we've got Pelipper, um, Thing, Bulu, right, uh, Porygon 2, and Muck. Ugh, do I hate this team already. I'm going to start Hariyama. Magnezone, Porygon 2 in the back, and Drampa. Let's let's go with that. Uh, I didn't bring Araquanid, so I don't have the best Muck deal. I could Draco Meteor it though, so it's not the end of the world. Ah, I don't know what to do here. This is gonna be bad if he brings Token tomorrow. Actually, if he does if he does bring Toga tomorrow, I think I could just close combat the slot that he's gonna attack. It's pretty obvious that that would happen. And then we just we fake out the Pelipper to break the sash. Like if he starts off Bulu, we fake out Bulu, Flash Cannon Bulu. No, he's gonna start off Toga tomorrow and Araquanid. What? Do I fake out the Araquanid? I don't really I don't know. I get rid of my Magnezone, though. I keep my Magnezone out of here. I'm going to close combat the Token Morrow. I'm going to get my Araquanid out of here for... Um, not my Araquanid. My Magnezone out for Drampa. <laughs> yeah, I just go straight for the close combat onto the Token Morrow. Get it out of the way as long as it's not have Sash. Um, I probably lose my Hariyama this turn, though. But I definitely attack before the Araquanid. If I'm faster than Magnezone, I definitely attack before the Araquanid. Oh, Token Morrow has Fake Out. I forgot about that. But he fakes out the wrong thing, because he goes down to my Hariyama, which is all I needed. That's why I swapped out my Magnezone, because I figured that would one-shot him. Um, the Fake Out onto, onto Magnezone, though, does confuse me. Are you one-shotting my Hariyama? Is that what's going on here? I'm curious. Or are you going for the Drampa? I don't actually mind if you take out my Drampa. He does go for the Drampa, so that was a pretty good turn for me. That was actually a very good turn for me. Uh, I'm going to take a lot of damage from that, but still a pretty damn good turn for me. Now, what does he bring out? That's the question. If he brings out Pelipper... Pelipper. Um... I need to kill this Arachnid, so what I'm gonna do... Do I need Hariyama anymore? Not really. So I'm gonna go for the... Knockoff onto Pelipper. And I'm gonna go for a Draco Meteor onto the Arachnid. 
I was just, like such a weird play. It does go for the hurricane like I expected. I didn't want to switch out and take extra damage that I didn't need to when I could just switch out into Porygon 2 and go for Trick Room. You know? Um, okay, so you're not Focus Sash. Draco Meteor shouldn't kill the Araquan. Actually, it might. Uh, think about it. Oh, it doesn't, really? Oh, damn. That's okay, he's gonna take me out anyway. Scald? Why do you have Scald? What? That. Okay. That makes no sense. I know you're a rain team, but Liquidation does so much more damage. And now I can just fire off Thunderbolts for no reason. Um, pretty much. So, he was slower than my Drampo, which means I have no reason to go for, for Trick Room. Um, at all. What do I get? I get Drizzle. That's not useful at all. Not that Liquidation would have been useful at all, either. Um, so I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt onto the Araquanade and a Thunderbolt onto the Pelipper. Don't see why not. I should outspeed the Araquanade anyway, so the Araquanade should go down. Pelipper protects, which I don't really understand why, but that's okay. Yeah, you're going down. I got your speed covered. Um, yeah, th that's why I, that's why I risked the Z water into Hariyama just to take out the Tokidamaru because I knew I could win with Magnezone. You know, it, it's all about risk and reward, and I definitely got the reward here. Um, so he does bring in the Muck. I was gonna protect, but I don't think I have to. I am going to go for the Trick Room on my Porygon 2, though. I was going to protect the Magnezone, but I don't think, even if he doubles into my Magnezone, it's going to kill me. You know? It's going to double into the por Oh, no, he's doubling into the Mag- Oh my god, it will kill me. What? Okay, I'm, I'm faster than the Muck? Why am I faster than the Muck? I really need to redo my IVs. Like, holy crap, I do. Knock off onto the Porygon too? No, onto the Magnet Zone. Damn it! I hate that my speed tiers are so wrong. I hate how wrong they are. Ugh. I go for the um, Ice Beam, I think. Yeah, I definitely go for the Ice. No, no, the Ice Beam. Gotta get that freeze. I'm trying to think a situation where Muck can win this. If I had recover, I'd definitely win this. Because he's going to knock me off. Yeah. He's faster than- Oh my god, this is that Trick Room is such a bad play. That Trick Room is such a bad play. Oh my god, I did not expect him to be faster than me. Oh my god, no, I lost. I screwed that up so bad. How many turns left for Trick Room? I have three turns. Oh my god, that was so bad. Um, Go for Thunderbolt now, because it doesn't matter. He already outspeeds me. Goes for Poison Jab. I just realized he doesn't have Power of Alchemy. Because he would have gotten the, um... Drizzle. Not that it really matters, because Drizzle's not going to do any anything for him. I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt. Hopefully we can get a power this time. Oh, man. I played that so poorly by going for the Trick Room. I should have just protected Thunderbolted. I, I totally thought the muck would be faster than me. I I really I really screwed screwed up by not having proper speed tiers. That that's really coming to bite bite me. Really coming to bite me. So Thunderbolt, that's not enough. Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna forfeit. There's no way we can win this. No way. Yeah, no, we can't win this. So I'm gonna run. No way. No way. I mean, we could protect Stop Trick Room, uh, and you saw, even if we get a crit there, we do not take it out, so... Damn it, my speed teams really are screwing me over. That's so not good. I, I thought, I like, the initial thought when I made the, made these Pokemon was that um, they're preliminary teams, and that what's gonna happen is we'll understand the meta and how people use their speed tiers, and... I guess in a way that is what we've learned. We've learned that people generally run pretty slow, so going fast isn't going to actually do anything. And unlike, you know, in 15 where 
I liked running fast because it helped me against other trick rooms. Um, it doesn't really help me in, in this situation because every team is slow and every team has something that functions well in trick room. So it's sort of like I'm not really gaining anything by being faster than trick room. So either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.